guys, today we're gonna have a look at From Dust. It's a godlike game. Well, it's advertised as a god game, but it's actually more of a puzzle game, to be honest. Um, let me just say right away, if you don't have an Xbox controller, you might wanna pass this one up, because the keyboard and mouse controls, well, they are really fail. Um, yeah, actually the entire game is pretty consoleized and display settings. We got this resolution, refresh rate, and full screen or window. But if you got a controller, the game is pretty fun. It's not a whole lot to write home about, but it looks nice, it plays nice, it's kind of a casual game. So let's pick a story mode. Well, let's start from the beginning. Sebwa dunia yangu baru di bawa ya kita. Orang zamani tila menubu sebwa atiang samanu. Kita bermai sherere kijiji. Ok, so every map has a certain amount of totems and you must occupy all the totems in order to proceed to the next level. Once you get all the totems, you can uh, well move on to the next level. Obviously, you have to bend the landscape and stuff to uh, 
reach those totems and make them uh, livable. Also, you um, if you plant vegetation, uh, vegetation's origins from your villages. If you spread out to the most part of the uh, landscape, you get some uh, bonus like uh, history of the tribe. And every level has like different obstacles and stuff, so it's kind of a uh, puzzle. And that's pretty much sums up the entire game. It looks rather good. It has a limit cat of 30 frames per second, I believe. Uh, the tribe is based on uh, all the African tribes. So yeah, let's give it a go. So we got this totem here and this totem here and once we like catch both we can exit the area here. So the people have built a village, vegetation starts to grow grass. In later uh, levels, certain totems have uh, specific powers. If you own the village, you can use those powers to do other stuff like uh, moving uh, special plants and whatnot, um, jellifying the water, put out fire, uh, vaporizing water, stuff like that. Also, there are like tiny totems you can capture. Those bring the village knowledge, like repel water. If there's a tsunami or something, they can uh, stop the water from uh, flooding the city or village. Yeah. 
know I have both the totems. The passageway has opened. But if you want full uh, progression, you just gotta spread the vegetation everywhere. Karibatu, shikere shikere, men karibatu, shikere shikere. Jalama, Kami Memba Wakami, Lakini Namu, Dunkum, Yaberkuta, Gema Maji, Masi, Bergatar, Duniani. Well, and that's basically what this game is about. You get a lot of different terrains with def different behaviors. Um, you got like water, lava, um, deserts which only grows vegetation when you uh, water it um, you got uh, plants that emit fire you got plants that emit water stuff like that you can use to your advantage to uh, overcome the obstacles and that's it so yeah see you later guys